All right, hello YouTube, it is me, Sam, and today I have the review of the iPhone 5S versus the iPhone 5. So let's go ahead and talk about the iPhone 5S. Let's just move this out to the side, and then let's go ahead and talk about the 5S. So as you can see, the 5S I have is the Gold Edition 5S. Um, I know it doesn't look like it, but uh, it's just because of the light in the, uh, in, in the frame. So let's go ahead and see if we can change that. So there you go. If you can see that's a little bit better of a gold. So that's uh, the gold one. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So one of the main features of the iPhone 5S is obviously this fingerprint scanner, the Touch ID um, feature that they added. So let's go ahead and check that out. So the Touch ID feature, you can program it to whatever uh, whatever fingers you want. So in this case, it's going to be my thumb. Uh, and then, of course, at the same time, you also have the fingerprint or the passcode option in case you want to have one of your family members use it or anything like that. So the Touch ID sensor is pretty fat, straightforward. It's just a quick, literally a touch. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you that with another finger that I have programmed. So there you go. So that's the basic Touch ID sensor um, in the iPhone 5S. Another quick feature that uh, they have added is the camera in the camera app. If you were to go to the camera app, there is now a slow-mo option. And the slow-mo option, honestly, is pretty cool. Uh, regardless of what people are saying about it, it's actually really nice. So let me go ahead and show you a slow-mo video so that's a pretty that's a pretty good slow-mo in my opinion for something that's built straight into the phone so that's the slow-mo feature uh, another quick feature that they have added in the camera app itself is if my camera will rotate back is going to be the photo and in the photo app itself if you were to just hold the picture or hold the capture button down it just rapid fires pictures so as you can see it's just it's already at 20 25 pictures so and the cool thing about this feature is when you go into the camera roll there's not 30 or 40 pictures or how many ever there are there's only uh, one set of pictures and in that set you can go ahead and hit favorites and it lets you know which ones of course it's not going to do it on that one because it's all the same so and there you go when you delete it it deletes 34 pictures at once so that's another feature they've added uh, that's pretty cool in my opinion because uh, it allows you to take some really nice uh, sports action photography Another feature they have in the iPhone 5S is the front-facing camera. So the front-facing camera is now an upgraded camera, and it is a 1.2 megapixel camera, uh, up upgraded from like the 0.8 or something. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Um, I took a couple pictures uh, with the front-facing camera, and the front-facing camera, honestly, it's so much better than the than the other one, uh, than the 5, because it it's, it really takes a lot of really cool. Uh, pictures and then of course on the back we're going to talk about the new flash so for some of you who can see it or most of you you guys may be able to see it it is a two-tone flash so I, I had the option of trying it out and of course the flash what it does is it not only uses the LED light to uh, illuminate the background but it also naturalizes or balances it with um, with the other with the other kind so let me go ahead and show you guys a picture kind of a weird face I made here but uh, if you can tell that picture is in the dark and I was kind of blinded by the flash but as you can see the picture is very clear it's very bright and it doesn't overpower like the iPhone 5 um, so that's the two-tone flash or true tone flash as they call it so uh, that is basically it for the iPhone 5S in terms of new features that are uh, something, you know, something cool besides the 64-bit processor. Most of the other features are internal. So I'll go ahead and talk about that for about a couple seconds here. Just It's got a 64-bit processor, new A7 chip. Uh, it's got the M7 motion coprocessor, uh, which just, you know, registers all the motions a lot quicker. 64-bit is something that was unheard of before Apple did it in a mobile device. That was more PC um, PC leak, but now it's, now it's mobile. Uh, and 
what else? Uh, I think that's it with the uh, internal pro uh, internal uh, stuff also. Uh, and let's go ahead and quickly compare it to the iPhone 5. Uh, so the iPhone 5, as you can see here, uh, it's got a case on it. But honestly, the thin uh, the, the the comparison between the two is relatively the same. The design is the same. The screen size and the thickness is both the same. So there's not much upgrade in the hardware itself. Um, there's more of the software internal upgrades for the iPhone 5 versus the iPhone 5S. So this was my review on the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. Uh, I hope you guys liked this video and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.